Hey guys, it's that time again. So I'm doing my two tier tray for Easter. So I'll give you a far shot of how the tray looks. You guys have seen it because I use it for every occasion. I love this tray so much, but it's Easter. So I wanted to show you this. I picked these up at Dollar Tree. They were just a dollar and they were hanging. So I took off the thing and I made little trays. How cute is that? So the first thing I'm adding is this beautiful gnome. Look at how gorgeous that is. And that is from Hobby Lobby. And I posted it as soon as I brought it. So you guys, I posted it on Instagram. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Just so you get an idea of half of the stuff that I post. So let's go ahead and do the top first and then I'll take you to the bottom. So look at how cute this is. I love it. I can't believe I found it. I'm so happy that I found it. But yeah. So next to that, I'm adding my adorable bunny from um, TJ Maxx. Oh, he is just so cute. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my beads on this tray because I thought adding the beads would be so cute. Look at how colorful they are. So I did do a video on them. So if you want to redo the beads, go ahead and check out that video. And I'm just going to put my beads to the side just so they hang. And of course, I cannot leave my marshmallow tray out. Now you can fill this tray with chocolates. You can fill it up with um, so many things. But of course, I have my little Easter hat for it. So let's go ahead and put it on. Look how cute this is. Now this hat was a gift from a friend she does not sell she does not want to sell she does it for a hobby and she sent it to me so thank you girly so look how cute that is so of course this is going to go to the side oh look how cute now if you don't want to do the ears on here you can always fill it up with candy and i think that would be a great look for it as well i want to add a Oh, the guys, I did a video on these, how I painted them and where I got them. So go ahead, if you can, go watch that video. This is so cute. Look at the little bunny ears. Doesn't that look like the bad bunny thing? I think it is adorable. Okay, so let's take it down one. And on the thing, I also brought another one of the... I'm going to put one right there as well. I'm going to put my little spoon, which I got at the Target dollar spot. Just like so. Yeah, I'll put it there. So I got my hands on the next gnome. There was only three of them. There's only three in the whole collection. And I got my hands on all three. So here's the other one. And I'll be using this every year. Even if I change out the rest of my decor, I will not change all my gnomes. I think they are adorable. So I'm going to put the yellow one in the front. And then on the side of there, I'm going to put my other little marshmallow cup look how cute he is god don't you love these look at that little adorable face so on the top of the cups i am putting this little um look how cute this is this was a gift from a friend as well and she was selling these but she stopped i get them from her because she were friends but she's i think she stopped I'm not sure. I'm going to go check. But this is adorable. Look how cute that is. So I'm going to put the stack of books in the bottom. Which, if you notice, my books match all my gnomes. So that is adorable. I also made one of the yellow bunnies. Which I thought would be so cute. Since everything's kind of matchy-matchy. I am using my pin roll. This is the one I use for Valentine's. I thought it would be cool to use it for Easter because it still has that whole pink vibe and the pastel colors. And I'm going to go use my cup, which I'm just going to add my little spoon on there. These are from Ray Dunn. And you can use, you can actually put an egg in here on top if you wanted to. It's a little egg holder. It has a little Valentine thing. So it's optional. I'm going to move stuff around, of course. No, actually, you know what, guys? I don't think it fits. Well, I could put it up here. You know? And then put my little spoon down here. As just an extra. That'll be cute. 
I have these adorable little, um, I got these from the dollar store as well as the inside of there from the dollar store. And it just has little beads. I think these are so cute. I'm going to put these on the side. I don't know if you guys can see them or not, but I don't really care for them. But yeah, I think it looks very cool. So I don't know if I should use this or take it away, the little egg thing. What do you guys think? Should I take it away? Or should I use it? I think it looks adorable. I can take it away. And then I can see the little marshmallow there. Look how cute she looks. Now I kind of like this. It's so cute. And then I could just add the little wooden spoon there as well. Oh, I think that is a great idea. So we'll take this away. And yeah, I think that looks very good right there. So I think I'm leaving it like this. I'll give you a picture from far how it looks. But yeah, this is my two-tier tray Easter. Hope you guys like it. I just wanted to show you what I was working with and how it looks. Let me see if I could do it far. So this is how the whole thing looks. I love it. I have it in my kitchen, by the way. And I'll do a little mini video on Instagram just to show you how it really looks. Because the light from next to the window it has more light. It's more bright. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you make your own. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. If you want to change it around. If you're going to do one, I would love to know how you're going to put your two-tier tray together. I did make a video on the beads. Now, the beads are optional. I can just take them off like that and leave my tray. But I think it gives it that extra, like, because I do, I did match the beads to the book, to the gnomes, because I have the whole purple, yellow, and pink. And I added the wood, and I added the white as well. So the beads are cute. You can um, do other things with them. Let me know what you would do with the beads, how you're going to decorate them. I can even place them in front of the tray. I can place them inside of the tray. If you make it long enough, it will go through the whole tray. But I like to place them on the front like that, like casual. You can do um, both sides. If you make more beads, you can do the mini beads. But these are my favorite right here, the little books. And I love the way my little marshmallow cups are holding them. I think that's so cute. I got this at TJ Maxx. But yeah, the spoons are from the Target dollar spot. You get three of them for a dollar. So if you guys, make sure you guys... Follow me on Instagram because as soon as I buy something like that, I post it on Instagram so you can go and get it for the same price and you don't have to look online and overpay and shipping and nothing. You get it for three for a dollar and that's it, you know? So yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you make your own happy Easter, you guys. And until next time, bye you guys.